going on everybody welcome back today guys to the channel Gran Turismo 7 PlayStation 5 we have brand new footage going up on the channel for you guys for today now I originally found this I was just kind of cruising around YouTube the other night and I stumbled upon Kareth Cart's video talking about the new footage and I didn't really understand what he was talking about I saw the thumbnail and it didn't look like the state of play footage now I clicked on it and it was actual new footage so we have some brand new stuff today I'm gonna break it down go through a little bit of slow-mo action as well too on those and tell you guys my thoughts and first impressions on this gameplay now they go a lot into the environment environment on the weather system um, I, right there's a lot of things in here that we just didn't really get to see in the state of play so it kind of got me even more excited we're like 13 days away from GT7 actually launching and we're still getting new footage to take a look at now mind you this came out I think about 10 days or so ago so you may have seen this hopefully you didn't but um, I was really surprised that we just had some new fresh gameplay including the moon man look at the HD 4k moon clips that we got here on this GT7 right I mean we got a lot of things to talk about first off dirt and debris it seems like this game is really doubled down on you know having debris fly up in the air and uh, you can kind of see that on these clips you just go a little bit outside of the line you pick up a little bit of the dirty road on the side there and that just you know the whole debris just kind of flies back up there so that was really cool to see that just a little bits and details that really do make Gran Turismo stand out from the pack and uh, you know a few other things that I would hope to see changed it doesn't look like it though the pit crews they're very static they don't move around especially during the race maybe there's like one or two guys on there that are moving but I would really like to see you know maybe GT8 they just revamp the pit area give the guys in there maybe some life make them move around a little bit and the people that are outside of the track actually watching the race have them follow the cars as they go by them I don't know if that's possible but I feel like like anything nowadays is going to be possible with uh, you know the new technology coming out now also to uh, some interesting footage on this clip the AI actually spun out on that corner which is something that we don't usually see on Gran Turismo I mean right the AIs are usually perfect um, so that was a really weird clip to see I mean I don't know if that's gonna be a thing now we also had the water spray coming off the cars as they're ripping by I thought that was really cool really realistic as well too. seeing that spray just kind of whip by on the replays but we're gonna go through one more time on the spin out but it was really interesting to see because obviously I do believe that that is the AI car in front and we're focusing on the driver that is in the race it could be vice versa but the way that he got back on the track um, and stopped to kind of let the AI cars kind of catch up he didn't really know what to do I think the AI I kind of tripped out and I think that's why um, that's a dead giveaway that that is actually AI but I mean that it's, it's gonna open some doors for some aggressive driving I feel like and we have another clip coming up here soon um, that does showcase exactly that so I think you know GT has really stepped up and they've found that perfect balance I think to make the game even more enjoyable as a single player aspect I think that's one of the biggest things that people don't really like is just racing AIs that are just so consistent they don't really make an error um, you know they're always just doing the same thing over and over again and it can kind of get a little bit dry I mean maybe not when we were kids playing these games it was fun it was new um, but now right we gotta kind of have a little bit of a better AI system I feel like moving in and I think they've actually listened to that we've also got some really nice shots of just the kind of the lighting system I'm hitting off some of the puddles on the track the game looks beautiful absolutely stunning graphics on here and I mean that's just half the fun of GT is looking at it the other half is playing it and I mean this is where it's gonna get even better we had a clip we're in the Red Bull ring driving the BAC mono I do believe and it's pretty wet out here now judging by the actual reactions on the wheel it does look like he is driving on a wheel not on a controller so that was one of the first things to take note on this gameplay second was the weather radar on the bottom right of your screen that is something totally new first time seeing this actually was in this gameplay maybe I was just you know lazy and didn't see it before but um, yeah I thought that was really cool to see that I don't know really what I'm looking at I don't ever read the weather but as long as there's no hurricanes or tornadoes on that damn thing I think we're okay now this was the most important clip of this episode for today now we're in p3 at the moment fighting for p2 and we're trying to get past the Aventador in front of us it's a big girl now this is I'm assuming AI driven since I mean there is no online yet for GT7 so you can only assume that the AI is driving the Lamborghini in front of us now he's gonna make some very interesting maneuvers on that lead car now he's gonna go for the pass on the inside and the Lamborghini to the left is gonna see that and he's gonna break very late on that corner he's gonna dab the brakes as he goes into the corner to correct himself to compensate uh, for that 
that kind of maneuver that he had to do on the outside there. So that was a really cool, uh, just kind of, you know, insight as to what to expect on the AI system for Gran Turismo 7. I think it's gonna be a very challenging one at that, especially when you do turn up those dials, crank them up to 10. I think they're gonna give you a good run for your money. Now, it's gonna be interesting to see how they do against some really experienced drivers out there, but if this clip, you know, has anything to do with what's to come on the AI system, I think we're in for some fun racing offline and online and i think that is one of the biggest things to make this game fully enjoyable i'm not a huge fan of racing on gt offline it's just it's not kind of what i find fun on the game i feel like i don't know if that's just me or not but maybe right just maybe this may help turn the tide for me but i think it's really cool the fact that we have the new weather system um, i'm still a little bit bummed as to the fact that we still have the exact same hud on the game there is nothing new on the scoreboard there's nothing new on your you know your telemetry um, it's a very interesting setup that they chose to go with and i mean i don't know it's a bold one i'll tell you that it's real bold because I mean, people like change, I feel like, especially this year. And the other thing that's really coming to people's attention is the fact that you will be carrying over your driver rating and your safety rating online. So as soon as you boot up GT7, your accounts will be linked. Um, and then all of your race progress, all of your safety stuff will be, you know, linked to your GT7 account. So you won't have to kind of, you know, grind in that aspect, um, you know, to get back up to your rank or your safety rating. Now, I watched a video the other day and, you know, they were talking about it. And at first I was kind of upset about that fact because I was like, well, like, I mean, what the heck? I right? I mean, I'd like a fresh start on the game. However, if you think about it, you don't want to be placed in lobbies where there's going to be guys that are just, you know, 10, five seconds ahead of you. You don't want that. You want to be placed into lobbies that are you know kind of with the similar same skill level drivers and I think it's a good move that GT you know is bringing over your driver and your safety ratings now however if you would like to start a new account um, you know that's fine you can just go back into that puddle of fish and you know play around but uh, for those of you you know like myself that are gonna probably just keep my account I think it's a good thing to not be matched up with you know people that are just gonna absolutely dominate you on these tracks and not make it a fun experience for everybody so I, th I think that's pretty cool let me know your thoughts down below on the new footage for today on the AI system on the driver rating the safety rating um, and right I mean we are now what 13 14 days away from GT7 man super excited to get it in my hands I'll be at the store 10 o'clock in the morning I asked them if they're gonna be opening early that day for the game they said no man like what it's GT7, man. Open the doors. Either way, I'm excited. Hopefully, you guys are as well, too. I'll be seeing you guys online. We'll be doing open lobbies and all that stuff. Make sure you guys go ahead, join the Discord down below to get involved in all those. Huge thank you for watching for today. And uh, this is going to be our final clip of this new gameplay here. Uh, just kind of having the sun set. I did speed it up to see it in fast motion here just to see the different colors flow by. But really did enjoy this for today. Huge thank you for watching as well. Uh, if you guys missed yesterday's episode, a guy had like a 10,000 horsepower Supra in the game. I don't know if he was hacking. Let me know your thoughts down below on it. Kareth Kart's channel will be found down below. This is the original person that I found on this footage. And then down in the comments and in the description box, he did link the original, original footage on this episode here. So a uh, huge thank you, like I said, for everybody coming around for today. If you guys missed any of the week's videos, make sure you guys go check them out. Grid Legends also too fast approaching here on the channel. So make sure you guys do subscribe, post notifications, hit the bell, and I'll see you guys back here tomorrow on the channel. We got a big package as well too at the door. So we're gonna talk about that. I'll see you guys back here. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>